Hi everyone, it's Eddie here. So today we're going to see uh, punches, combinations, and kicks under the online class. For those who are new, uh, I'm doing this kind of online class live uh, through Facebook, and then I'm I'm recording it, uh, possibly putting it in YouTube. Uh, if you if you want to search for more online classes, you can either check on my Facebook page or on the YouTube page. And um, yeah, if there's any recommendations or anything in specific that you want to see, please let me know. So also just to check around if there's anyone there, please let me know about the volume, if everything's okay, if not, not too high, not too low. I'm also doing a bit of live in Instagram, but uh, I'm still trying a lot of things with that. So. Uh, I'm still wondering how, how it will work out with that. With Facebook, I know I have been doing this for a little bit longer. And uh, yeah, we're doing it with multi camera. So this is the first one where you'll see where I do everything. And I have another one for the footwork here in specific so that you guys know, uh, can see how I move my, my feet. Okay. Oh. So we're going to start with a warm up. So right now we're going to just uh, 20 jumping jacks here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Then we're going to legs up. Twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. Straight punches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. Yeah. Now here. Uh, uh, try to bring your knee to your shoulders like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Here, proper blocks. Here. One, two, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Any Now from here, we're going footwork. Just stepping forward. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. I'll show only the legs. Here, normal footwork right now. I think this is one, two, one, two. When I go forward, I start with the lead leg. When I go backwards, I go with my back leg. Yes. Here. Yeah. Let's go. Nice. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going the same. Two steps. Now I step forward, jab, cross, and return. Backwards. Step, jab, cross, return. I want to return every single time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now same thing, 
one, two, seven, down, cross. I return first, and then I go block left, block right. And I go dab, cross, return, left, right, block. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now same. This time I go jab, cross, hook, and I return. Same thing, block, block. If you have seen the previous classes, you know that the block wants to be 45 degrees, not straight up because then you can get kicked to the side. You want to block sideways, sideways. One, three, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. with one two uh, sorry sideways I go left then right left then right again I'll focus with the camera when I go to the left I step with my left leg first I don't want to cross I don't want this See? and I try to keep here not Yeah, this is different right now here here like this 45 degrees so I can always block so and we're going 10 times one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're going. When I go to the right, I go with my right fist first, cross, then hook. Now when I go to my left, I turn and go hook, left hook, right cross. Cross, hook, hook, cross. We start with the same hand that steps, the, the leg that steps. So if I step with my right, I go with my right hand. If I step with my left, I punch with my left. This, it's a, and this uh, uh, punching with a different uh, side, it's okay, but you have to know when. So for beginners, you just want to practice the basics. Try to do it the same side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Now same, but blocking with blocks. Cross hook, return. Uh, let's go left and right, same as before. Two, cross, return, block, block. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. going same thing with forward Here. jab cross hook turn block block backwards block, block. now sideways left side hook cross block, block right side cross hook block block forward step Oh, look, back. <laughs> Left. <laughs> right. <laughs> Forward. <laughs> My courts. <laughs> Left. Across. Block, cross hook, forward, backward, left, right. Backwards, left, right. Okay, good. Okay, we're going to take one minute break. Then we're going to, on to the kicks. Just a second. we get this we're going to do the same thing about the footwork for three minutes and then we're going with the previous drills we have seen about the kick and footwork with the right leg then another three minutes with the left leg so I'll, don't worry I'll show you that we're going to start uh, this time for the three minutes I actually got a proper timer. Okay. It. Let's go. So same thing forward. Backwards. Left. 
All right. All right. Backward. Left. Right. Why? Backward. Left. Right. Forward. Backward. Left. Right. Forward. Up. Right. Forward. Backward. Left. Right. Left. Right. Four. Backwards. Okay, that would be it for the three minutes. Uh, for those on Instagram, you can't see, but on Facebook, I already put a timer so that you get get the idea. Now, yeah, we're good. Again, same thing with the one, two hook, but this time I will return doing this kind of footwork. One, two, block, right kick, and return. So I go block. Right kick, return, same thing. When I go backwards, when I go sideways, it's always the same. Boom, side, lock, kick, on the right side. We're going like that through minutes, okay? It's almost done with the one minute rest. We're going to start it in three, two, one, go. So, forward. Now turn, looking for two. Three.
Okay, good. That would be the three minutes. Now we're going similar with the opposite leg. We're going still the same four combinations. Uh, one to hook, one to hook, hook cross, cross hook. But this time when we return and we do the step step, we're going to block with the left leg, then switch and afterwards kick. So really important here, the legs. And I go like this and block, I switch, kick. You can also, for more beginner, for the beginners, you can always do block, step back and then switch if you're losing balance. If you're like, yes, then no good, step first and then switch. Okay, right now breathe, breathe. We're going exactly the same, just opposite leg. Ready, let's go. Forward. So yeah, that were the three, three rounds. Uh, again, it's all about repetition. You have to repeat same technique many, many times. Just get comfortable, do it in different ways. It doesn't have to be exactly the same way. Just get comfortable using the same technique in different situations. And that's how you get better. So don't just go from technique to technique, focus on one first. Get comfortable, then go to the other. Same thing, you practice it, you practice the ones that you did before, you get comfortable with everything, and then you keep going. The thing about rushing too much with uh, learning many techniques is that it's easy to lose track of the things that you have already learned, and that takes even longer. So rushing most of the time 
will be counterproductive. Try to go things a bit slow, and as you, as you build up, you can actually get a better foundation. So right now we're going to have one minute break. Just a second. So we have seen previously about uh, this would work. Uh, we're going again, repeating it a few times. We're good. right now just with jab, jab. So I go one, two, jab, jab. Then I go kick. Well, right now no block, just kick. We're doing this ten times. Here, one, two, jab, jab kick. I'll show only the footwork. Here, and two. Bah. Bah. It's important, if you want to kick, you want to get your leg out. If you stay here, it's way more difficult for your hip to turn. It is possible, a lot of fighters do it, but it's easier when you have already your leg left to the side so you can turn faster. Now when you turn, you don't want to overturn and kick like this. You want to go straight and at, at the end you turn your hip. So I'll show it here. You don't want to kick like this. You want to go straight and at the end turn. Yeah, I'll show the difference. Is this not good? Well, I'm here. So, remember, go a bit, your, your leg goes a bit straight until your hip turns. Don't get your leg already turned when you, when you still haven't gotten to your target. If not, you lose the power of the kick. It's the same as when turning the wrist for punches. You want to turn at the end. If you already turn it, you open your, uh, your posture. You open your guard. I don't want this. I want here and at the end. It's the same. I go up. I open with the opposite leg just to get ready. But I don't turn until the end. So, same thing. One, two. Jab, jab, kick. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, once we get that, we're going to try with the low kick and the high kick. Now, for the difference for the three kicks will be my back leg. So first, let's try and, and practice with our back leg just here. I will go 
low and up. Yeah, trying just with her neck, bring your knee up and bend it a bit and stretch it. Be careful, don't put too much pressure. Go slow at first. One, two. One, two. If you have a wall, it will be easier. If not, you can always try it by yourself, but again, look on how much pressure you receive on your back leg. If you feel it's too much, uh, just go with a, a smaller movement. You can do here, yeah, this is okay. I prefer to go a bit lower and higher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, the reason why I want to do this, again, it's way easier on the wall right now because the, the walls are a little bit too far. I would have to move everything in, uh, way too bothersome. Uh, I'm not doing it, but you know, if I go for a low kick, I want to get my knees down. Yeah. But it's important. I keep it more or less the same until the last moment. Yeah. There's many ways to low kick. The, my favorite way is a bit of a jump. But you can also just do it similar and bend your knee. Try to turn and return. You can also go the whole circle, but be careful, it's easy to get dizzy. So we're going with the low kick 10 times. Same thing with the jab, jab, oh, sorry, step, step, jab, jab, low kick. One, two, Now we try it one more time. The same thing about the squat in one leg. Here, again, if you have a wall, use the wall. I really recommend it. I'll show a few times only with the leg. So you have the better idea. Here. So it's It's really important. All this strength will come from the back leg. One of the most common mistakes for people when they are kicking is they put all the weight and the strength on the leg, the, the kicking leg. 
you can put a bit, but it's the same as with the punches. You want to put the strength from the pivot leg rather than on the arm. The arm will be like this. Well, with the pivot leg, it will, be, it will go just through. You'll have to put less effort, you'll get more power. So, similar. Now we're going with the high kick. So here, one, two, jab, jab. When I go high kick, I step up. Now, the main difference with this is that I'll get my hands a bit higher. Not one low, one higher, both high. This is another thing that people make a big mistake thinking they have to go backwards to get their legs high. It's better to get your body high so it's easier just to get through. You see here, get your hands high. Yeah, jab, jab. I step out, bring my hands up, my leg. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay. Yes. Now, we're going another three rounds of three minutes. This time, it will be shadow boxing. Be careful with your space. What I want you to do is always use this footwork. One, two, you go jab, jab. Now, with the back leg or with the fist, you can throw anything. So, if I want to throw a kick, good, block, kick, good. Yes, sir. You can use anything, any of your weapons from your right side or your back side. But I want you to always start with double step. Dab, dab. Okay, so I'll put the timer. Okay. Let's
Okay, good. That would be the first round. So if you see all this, it, it's just about trying to mix the things that we have already seen and try to mix with some things that you kind of understand from what you have already trained. Now, uh, we're going the same, but this time while moving, I want to do two steps, whichever side I can. And after that, the same thing with double step, jab, jab. Again, you can add anything. It's up to you. It's still mostly uh, about doing shadow boxing, but we, we make it so we learn one specific timing, one specific tempo. So sometimes you want to do shadow boxing like that. Just make sure that there's one specific thing that you're always practicing. Okay, get ready. Let's go. So same thing. This time I'll be moving. Okay, good. That's the second round. Now, on the third round, it's completely free. We're going just to do shadow boxing normally. And try at first to focus on one thing that you feel that you're still missing, something that you still want to practice with. If it's punches, focus on punches. If it's knees, focus on knees. If it's kicks, focus on kicks. If you feel like you can combine a bit, Make sure you combine one thing at a time. So let's say uh, every time I will finish with kicks, I, I will combine anything and finish with my right kick. Or every time I'll finish with the elbow. Every th time I think about having my hands out and finishing with the elbow. So focus on the things that you feel like you're so missing 
all the things that we have learned on the previous class, try to think them through. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Okay, good. That's time. Now we're going on to the cool down. So here we're going to start breathing and relaxing. Breathing, relax. Breathe, relax. Relax your body. Your arms. Make sure it likes. Sure, top. Back. Inside. The other side. Okay, here we need one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. 
you can, five times. One, two, three, four, five. If you have a wall, again, it's better. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, relax. Breathe, relax. Breathe, relax. Breathe, relax. Okay, thank you everyone. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave it down in the comments. And I hope to see you guys next time. We'll